I'm about to break down the best offense in Madden 24 that nobody uses and nobody even knows about. And after watching this video, you're going to want to go check it out yourself. YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke back here from sportsgamers.com. And in today's Madden 24 video, I want to talk about the gun box. The gun box can be found in the Denver Broncos offensive playbook, and this is the best offense in the game that I haven't seen anybody use, I haven't seen anybody talk about, and nobody really even knows it exists. This offense has one of the best plays in the entire game, and it is going to be the deep fork. Now, what is deep fork? Why is it so good? Well, it literally has damn near every route in the game that's OP. It has a quicker C route, a good corner route, a good post route, and then a circle route out of the backfield to the running back. You actually pretty much never see a circle route to the running back ever anymore. This is an old school route that used to be in the game, I'd say like 10, 15 years ago. It was super OP and they kind of took them all out, except for a very few one or two exceptions and this is one of them. It also has an auto motion out route. And I'm going to break down how you can utilize this play to destroy any defense. What's really nice about this is you don't need any abilities. You don't need hot route master. You don't need anything because all the good routes are already on the play stock. So, you know, if you play in a situation where you don't have abilities, you don't have hot route master, this is going to be good. Now, I'm first going to break down how this play works against a cover four defense baseline press. Cover four or cover three is extremely common right now. But we're going to go over how to attack every different type of defense you can possibly face in the game. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any important information or setups to help you guys win more games. I'm going to show you guys a few different variations and a few different setups you can use with this. Now, if you want more high-level Madden 24 content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a like, comment on the video, say what's up to me if you're new. I do appreciate all of the support. So this is the first setup I want to go over with this play. This setup is going to attack both the flat and sideline area on the left and the right. So you're essentially with this first setup going to force them to double Mabel to have any shot of stopping this play. And double Mabel means basically having on each side of the field a 5-yard flat and then like a 30-yard flat. That's going to be your only chance to stop this, but most people will not do that. And even if they do that, we have a counter to that as well. So this is the setup. Basically, you're going to wheel the running back out of the backfield flat the slot receiver and then you're going to go ahead and streak the outside receiver uh, on the little trip side. Now when running this play I find it most effective to have the three receiver side of the formation on the short side of the field the one receiver side on the wide side because with this wheel route C route combo on the wide side of the field you're going to see that the wheel route will pull that deep zone allowing that C route to just get wide open on the sideline for easy dot. So that's the first read on the play. I looked at that C route and wheel route on the wide side. Now, the great thing about this is you can easily attack the sideline over there on the right as well. You have a quick breaking corner out to Boyd. So if they go and use that C route, then just move your attention to the right side of the field, as you guys can see here, dot. So you're easily able with this first setup to attack both sidelines, really no matter what type of coverage or adjustments they do, the only exception will be double Mabel, which I'll show you guys how you can beat that as well. But if you guys look and see, the flat takes away the flat defender, the streak runs off the deep zone, and this corner route gets wide open on the sideline. Then over here, basically guys, the wheel route first draws attention to the flat defender, but then as it cuts up field, the deep zone goes and plays it. So the C route is going to, because it's a quick breaking one and not a deeper one, it's going to be wide open on the sideline. Now, that's just cover four. It works the same way if they're in cover three or cover two. Just so you guys can see, we'll switch to cover three real quick here. And you're going to see, again, I'm just going to wheel the running back, streak the outside receiver, and then put the slot receiver on a flat. Again, same thing. I can easily attack the sideline on either side of the field for an easy dot. Doesn't matter what they're in, cover two, cover three, or cover four. Really doesn't. Again, we'll go to cover three, and you'll see, same thing on the left side as you saw on the right. So again, this C route is so good because of its quick break. It just gets wide open, man. Every time, you're going to have an easy throw over there. Now, if they switch to cover two, um, same thing is really going to be the reads. You're just going to look first at the running back C route, then the flat corner concept, right? 
Now, if they're pressing you cover two, I also want you guys to note, you can a lot of times get that streak in on the sideline, but we're not going to do that here. I want to focus on the other routes. Basically, guys, your read here is going to be if they're in a hard flat or a cloud flat, maybe they backed up their flat, maybe they've zone dropped it. But depending upon what kind of flat they use, that's going to tell you guys what corner route you're going to, or C route or flat you're going to look to attack. There, they were in hard flat, so I hit the C route. Now, here we're in a cloud flat situation, but once again, it doesn't really matter because if you press your flat zone on this year's game, you'll get beat over the top of corner and C routes. So that leaves us to basically man-to-man -man coverage, right? Do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros at the lowest price possible. I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games, and I can help you as well. Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. This membership will include all of our Madden ebooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. You'll see Man to Man does a really bad job against this play as well because against Man to Man, you know, <laughs> C routes and corner routes and, you know, are going to kill it. So if I just use the stock setup I was using against Man, you'll see that we're able to hit the C route and uh, the corner route really easily. Because this C route breaks quickly, it gets wide open against Man. That's what makes this play so good is it kind of has a very similar C route that you see out of double post. Deeper C routes, they don't really get underneath deep zones that well. They don't beat man that well. But because the C route breaks harder to the sideline instead of upfield, you're able to easily just freeform this to the sideline. That's an easy dot, an easy dot. Now, truthfully, guys, if I know they're in man coverage, I'm probably just going to hype this play stock. Because against man coverage, basically every route on this play gets open if you hype this play stock. Um, the running back route is nice against man. The deep post is nice against man, especially if they don't have safeties over top. Obviously, the corner C route, the out route, like every route on this play is good against stock. Man, as you guys can see, this post, if they're in stock, man, can split the safeties for an easy one play touchdown. So definitely, if you suspect man to man, I would just go ahead and snap this ball as fast as humanly possible. At most, just streak the outside receiver on the right. But definitely keep the post and the running back route because both of those routes are really good to beat man-to-man -man, as well as obviously the corner and C route. Now, if somebody does try to double Mabel you to stop the sidelines on this play, they're going to be in for a big surprise because you can destroy them over the middle of the field. So if I get the sense that you're double Mabeling, all I'm really going to do on this play is just literally streak my outside receiver and snap the ball, right? If I streak the outside receiver on the side of the corner route and you double Mabel, you're going to get destroyed over the middle of the field. I'm going to make you choose between guarding the C route and the post. If you go ahead and run with that post, I can just throw that running back route right out of the backfield. And as you guys can see, I mean, that's going to be an easy 5 to 10 yards at minimum. But against this type of defense, if you have one nice juke, it could be a touchdown. Now, again, you know, obviously, you know, a smart player, they see you go to the running back out of the backfield. You know, they're probably not going to let you keep doing that, right? They're probably going to go user that if you do that once or twice. So that's what makes this play so nice is that if... They double Mabel, you try to take away the sidelines and see that you'll kill them with the running back route. You're going to be able to probably have a one play touchdown to the post like you kind of did against man. Because if they sit on the running back, the post is wide open. Now we did get hit as soon as I was trying to release the ball there. But I'm just going to do that again so you can see what I'm saying. Is is really simple. If you see that they sit on the running back out of the backfield and they're in a double Mabel type defense, the post is just going to split the safeties for an easy one play touchdown right down the middle of the field. That's what makes this play so hard to stop is that you have the ability to beat every single defense in the game with two setups, man. You can attack the sidelines and the flats or you can attack the sidelines and also the middle of the field or you can do a combo. Um, this play needs no abilities, no hot route master, nothing. It's just, in my opinion, the best stock play in the game, the most slept on offense that nobody uses, the best offense that nobody uses. This Denver playbook is actually very underrated.